All right, what's up? Hello, and welcome to another video today. We've got the tourney vod. All right. So, fun stuff happened. Fun stuff happened last night playing this tourney. Up first, we've got the warmonger here. Ooh, look at that light parry. Yes, sir. We're ready for those. Even though it's uh, well past my bedtime at this point. Well, I'm playing anyway, obviously. I'm recording this the morning after. <laughs> Got a good strong first round from the warmonger there. So, first other opponent here is uh, goes by the name of Doge. Uh, he's a good player, good warmonger player. Uh, he was EU, so the latency is a little higher. Um, that's a good light here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna be free framing from time to time to talk about certain things that I see. So that light was uh, was an intelligente light uh, because we could see the warmonger dodging in on us. And Warmonger doesn't have a bash that activates at 100 ms, like our good friend Warden, who we'll see later. So you can uh, more reliably go for interrupts on uh, dodge forward reads and stuff like that. So that was good. All right, let's get uh get settled in here. So we get uh we got good spacing on that. We missed the uh, CC there. Good dodge attack on his part. Yeah, so with Warmonger, you just want to be making, uh, you want to be making good reads on, uh, on like her bash. This is that was a good a uh, a good kick interrupt because it uh, she like she fainted it and it. it cause her to go out of stamina there but I didn't really capitalize on a stamp pressure okay so that zone there uh, that's a good zone to go for uh, I don't recognize that he uh, uh, tries to go for the parry on the follow-up but there's a a certain timing you can hit I didn't hit it there I was too early there's a certain timing you can hit though with uh, attacks that have like good little sweeps like that that are fast on warmongers uh, dodge heavy where you'll hit You'll hit her past iframes, and she also like won't be able to faint to parry. The worst she can do is faint to block. So, uh, as a warmonger, you got to be careful going for uh, for that bash for for that dodge attack uh, like in neutral too often. That was just a bad light. I'd use the top light. If I had used the side light on the right timing there, that would have worked. But um, yeah, that top light's gonna whiff because it just doesn't have a hitbox. And then that zone was just a little cheeky. Little cheeky. I know I can get away with some certain stuff because of the latency. Um, make a bad read there on the uh, on the spacing. It's important to note that I'm very tired. That's a good light parry on his part. Um, important to no, I'm very tired. <laughs> For this turning this this first game i'm a little turned up All right it's not super late it's not too far past my bedtime but uh i have a very strong circadian rhythm i have a very uh very set bedtime so we start to go past it too much and uh the brain loses function it's just like the only thing it can think about is go to sleep asshole <laughs> good zone stuff on his part he read me read me pressing too many buttons trying to all right, so here, um, I have frame advantage after I land any key attack. Any key attack, you have frame advantage if you land it. Um, but uh, so I I had conditioned it before, but uh, I didn't. I guess he just didn't know. So I could have taken my frame advantage there again, but I go for the heavy any stuff. So. And then that's just a good read on the uh, on the bash. He would have needed to faint that to neutral and parry me. Well, yeah. The uh, the cuts here, by the way, are a little interesting because uh, Loki doesn't want to spectate like normal, so we have to go to the brawls map, and uh, uh, the whoever's on the enemy team has to kill him at the start of every match so that he can spectate from the death the death screen. Yeah, these zone a little spammy. I'm clearly not playing super well. You can see the latency come through with that block, how late it is, and how the stuff kind of sets in. That was a bad recognition on the dodge forward, and then just spammy, kind of kind of scrubby light. But we win it. Unfortunately for uh, for me, it's very late. 
and I'm kind of tired, but uh, for a friend Doge there, it's at like 4 a.m. EU, but uh, GG. All right, so next up here, we've got Godzilla. Uh, now, this fight does not go well. Now, you have to understand that they do an entire loser's bracket run before this fight happens. Uh, or do they? I think we did. I remember this fight being later. Um, okay, so this this here, I got to be careful as Shaolin uh, doing all this like whiff stuff at, at range against a character with a long range option, quick long range option especially, very long range in Shaman's case. Uh, and that's just like bad, um, sort of like bad, bad plays from me very early on. Um, I'm missing bleed stabs. I usually like hit those sometimes. Uh, if I was, uh, you know, up and at him, but, uh, we were, we were not up and at him, so we're gonna be getting clipped by every single bleed stab in this one. It's just not gonna look very pretty. There's still a few things to learn here. So he, he recognized last time that, uh, I was trying to go for the stuff, so he just, he hits that. It's interesting that he doesn't take his bleed stabs ever on guard break. I would um, personally recommend you take the bleed stabs sometime. Now, when he was low stamina like that, just take your damage. But like, if you got a full stamina bar, I think it's more important for Shaman to have bleed pressure than uh, bad read on the top faint there. And now here, I go for a cheeky little light, but he blocks it because he's goaded. I'm unsure if I would have had enough time to get the kick and the punish off. So I think I think he was betting on that not being the case, so he stood still and just blocked, and that was a good play on his part. Okay, so we got to the good light. Make the read. Kind of a bad punish. Sometimes people like to dodge attack randomly when you like top light into heavy attack, so I just like I check for that sometimes. Uh, I have some like goofy timing. This uh, this zone is really bad to go for. It's a, it's a clear indicator of my of my uh, my tiredness because it it almost loses me that match. All right. I'm not paying attention to my stamina bar. I'm just like going for goofy timing reads and spamming because I don't want to deal with the mix-ups. And uh, it almost cost me that match because if you can imagine that he got that bleed there, it's a 50 health swing in his direction. He gets full stamina, and uh, you know it's, we're not looking very we're not looking very high here. I think even a few times I go for dodge attacks after getting heavy hit stun applied to me, and then he just gets the f like the guard break for free because that's that's a true 50 50. You can't go for dodge attacks on shaman's uh, heavies. Dodge attacking sh shaman's heavy and neutral is pretty strong. Covers a lot of options. This light here was very intelligent for him to go for. Uh, it really did some serious mental damage to me when this hit. Because it's like just another very clear like... Like he's in your head. <laughs> You're pressing too many buttons, we're over mixing, we're, we're lost in the sauce. It's, uh, it's a shame. However, Shaolin's uh, offense is powerful. You'll also see, there's, I, I do that back dodge, and then there's another back dodge laser. Basically, every time I back dodge, it's a miss input. So he reads that I'm going for uh, these dodge attacks to try to stuff the stuff. The uh, the bleed stab and the, uh, the guard break. But, you know, even still, Shaolin has strong offense, so I managed to get on the board here. But, uh, I think from here on out, it's pretty convincing, convincing losses. That was good recognition on the timing there for him. Bad back dodge. I lose. I lose a lot of like frame. It just gives him a lot of room. Uh, there, I think I went for the dodge attack, but I was just too slow, and so he uh, he guard breaks it. That was. I, I like do that multiple times. I like heavy on wake up, like it's some sort of big brain play, but I like never lighted to even condition it in the first place. So, uh, that's just kind of bad. Catch him going for a deflect on light. We just, we just missed the block. Just too tired. 
Missed that block. Not blocking Shaman Zone in 2024. Kind of crazy. Drops it on me. GG. So at this point, we're out. We're a little bit mad. A little bit mad at our performance. A little bit mad at the, uh, just like everything hitting because I'm just too tired to deal with it. And so we come in here to loser's bracket later. And we've got, uh, Hanshest. The, uh, he's a Twitch streamer. And he's on the Orochi. He's a little console. Console Orochi. Um, and we just play a lot better for this. Uh, we, uh, we got some good reads on us. It's also important to note, though, that I think Hanshest is also EU. So the two people I fight and win are EU nasty CC are EU players that are it's like 4 a.m. for them so they're super tired <laughs> and then the two people lo I lose to are Americans who are a little more you okay so you'll see me do this pretty often this little light into a dodge into a heavy the top heavy from a light will do this like flip forward move and you can like catch people coming into you I, I use it quite often and at this point, uh, his uh, his being very tired and his latency, you see me check his latency right there because he's EU, so unfortunately that clips him. Now see, that's why uh, I often go for that, that light into that top heavy to like give me a lot of forward momentum and smack them coming into me because if people see you whiff some move into key, they're usually trying to get you out of key. So there we just we backstep a heavy works for us. If you see me backstep a heavies, you know I'm feeling myself. Yeah. Just making solid reads in this fight. The thing with the Orochi matchup is you gotta be looking for faint I I don't take this. It's just, uh, he probably just had his, like, dodge forward input 8 or something. But, yeah, the thing with the Orochi matchup is you've got to be looking for whether well, you're careful with your faint heavies because he can dodge attack early and it'll beat the guard break or, and it'll also beat you, like, letting it fly. And then if you let it fly and he, like, goes for the deflect, you could have fainted the guard break. So you kind of have to guess when they're going to go for the deflect timing and when they're going to go for the early timing. This is just me like taking my frame advantage on guard break just to just to see what happens. And then here you see the latency kick in but then also you can tell I'm still not at like peak peak because I don't I don't have the recognition that 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 uh that he dodge attacks, and I could have CC'd that. I did. I did have time. I went into some other move. Good fight, though, huh, Sash? All right. And then next up in my losers bracket run, we have Dubs with Nug. Or yeah, Dubs with Nugs. And he's on the award. He's on the ward in here. Now this guy got sent to losers bracket pretty early by uh, by Guts who also sent me to lose his bracket, so we're both in here fighting for our chance at a rematch with Guts, who had just recently got sent to lose his bracket by a low key, who won his own tournament, because he's a dummy. But, uh, this first, these first couple rounds are pretty competitive, you know, the reads are kind of interesting, so, he, pay attention to that, to that heavy that he buffers on block. Because I was not uh, expecting this. Terrible guard break. But um, it's sort of I sort of learned something. We'll see that a couple more times, and I'll try to break it down more as we see it. But yeah, Dubs is a really strong warden. He's Grandmaster player, and Warden's a really strong character. Uh, and while Shaolin does do an immense amount of damage, a lot of that damage comes from from stuff that just can eat just eat stamina. The sweep in particular absolutely eats stamina, and it's probably not even a good idea to throw it at Warden. 
unless you've got a really good read on what you're gonna get get from letting it go. Um, oh, oh, right, right. Pay attention to his health bar here. Okay, so you see how it's blinking red now? If that health bar isn't blinking red, they're not gonna die when you heavy them with Shaolin. Terrible recognition on my part. I just, I assume he's dead. And I just, I, yeah, I lose the match. And at this point, I lose the game here. This is where I lose the game. The mental is gone. It's like 11 o'clock at this point. We're just like three hours past my bedtime. We're not having it. Uh, that, that, that sort of shatters the mental. Um, you'll see here. I, I go for some, like, I, it looked like I pressed some sort of stupid button while in the middle of Warden's Chain. And he's just, uh, you know, I'm not being careful with my stamina. He, on the other hand, playing very well with his stamina. He only goes for that single light there. But technically, you want to go for the top light. It's two more damage, but, I mean, it's not a huge deal. You know, he's got his, he's playing with his stamina. He's got his timing reads down. He does that, the buffered heavy again. You'll notice he only does this buffered heavy from either some sort of light hit stun or from a medium block stun, right? He'll only go for that if he blocks a heavy before I go into key. And what he's doing there is he's checking off a few a few different options. He's checking off uh, a same side light, uh, 400 ms same side light, and he's checking off, um, he can like let it fly if he thinks I'm gonna faint to guard break and it beats, and he can just faint it to neutral to both block my attack and counter guard break if I faint to guard break. So it's a very it's a very interesting option and I I was confused by it in tourney, but now seeing it uh, it makes a little more sense. Now some things that I would have needed to do, you see me get punished here by that dodge forward heavy. He he'll just he'll just dodge and go into the uh, his bash. He did that like multiple times and that's just like bad recognition. He does it there again. And I'm not like, I'm just like not conscious enough at this point to recognize that he's doing that. Because I would, I would typically want to do the dodge forward heavy and then faint it into either a top light or, uh, or a zone. A zone typically for characters with true dodge attacks, but since Warden doesn't have a true dodge attack, and there he just goes for the trade because you don't have enough frame. It wasn't a, it was unfortunate, but uh, GG's to Dub, GG's to everybody that played. We had a we had a good we had a good fun last night. It was fun being in chat and whatnot. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do uh, tourneys like this this late anymore. It's sort of unfair to myself to uh, to ruin my sleep schedule just to not play well. And I know I'm not gonna play well. And it's also unfair to the other competitors because I'm not bringing my best, so they're not getting they're not really getting the matches they deserve. Uh, we're not learning as much as we could if we were all playing at the absolute height of our abilities, but it's unfortunate. I mean, that's just kind of how it is with the timing. I mean, obviously we had the EU lads in there and they were, they were getting, they were getting messed up by the, uh, by the sleep even worse than I was. But, uh, even still it was fun and we, uh, we had a good time. So GG to everybody. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Leave a comment down below uh, about anything. Bye.